Hello, hello. Um, I just wanted to hop on today now that we are inching towards 50% um, funded on my live Kickstarter campaign. It's been about four or five days since it has been launched. And yeah, we are at like 47% funded. So I just wanted to hop on and do another pairing video. I did one pairing video with my very first prototype deck. And I did, I think, almost all mass market decks with that one. Um, I did throw Emma Poetica a really sweet little indie deck on right at the end but since I did almost all mass market in the first one I thought I'd pull out some of my indie decks and do another pairing video um, something that I really love about this deck and was one of my main intentions in creating this deck especially in this color palette is that it pairs so well with literally almost every single thing I've put next to it so why don't we take a little look? I've already pulled the cards here out of the box. So we'll scoot that to the side and let's just go ahead and give it a shuffle just for funsies. It is such a satisfying shuffle. And let's get all lined up, let's see. I can't really see what I'm doing here, but we're going to go with this as middle. Okay, so I thought that I, let me make sure we're, okay. I thought that I would start with another, um, like, black and white deck. My deck is a little bit, the white is a little bit more of, like, a warm white um, I tried to make the black a little bit more of a warm black also. Um, this deck is, this first deck that I'm pairing is the Dark Days Tarot. It is pretty new to me, um, but I'm really loving it so far. Here are the backs. And it is a true black and white deck. All right. Again, let's just make sure we're... As far as I can tell that we're looking okay. All right, I'm just gonna sew it just a tad. Let's just make sure we're focused here. Okay, so let's take a look. I think pretty obviously you can see that the color palette is doing its thing together. And I do love that I decided to put in the elements with this little pop of green happening. Um, I feel like so far it hasn't like thrown me off as far as like being cohesive with other decks. Um, but yeah, I feel like it just needed a little bit of fresh color in there. but it is looking good. This may be a hard deck to show because it has so much detail, but let's see. Their opinions are a reflection of them with the moon and the hierophant. Hmm. Go touch the grass, the four of wands and the 10 of wands. Talk to yourself like someone you love, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. We'll do just one last one. Take a deep breath. The Seven of Swords in the world. I love this card too. Just kind of using it to like trace up while you breathe in and trace down while you breathe out. I love these little interactive cards. Okay. I mean, looking good, right? So that is the Dark Days Tarot. And then let's go like stark opposite from black and white to 
the Dream Visions Tarot. Very colorful. Very, very colorful. And these are the beautiful backs. And we'll just split and look. Okay. I feel like authenticity really jumps out with the devil and the five of swords here. What is great about um, Dream Visions is it does use quite a bit of black in the artwork. So there's, it's very colorful, but it also, um, what are you doing? What are y'all doing? Okay. But it also has a lot of this like darkness. I love that. Be who you need with the fool and the magician. Hmm. I hope this comes through. This is a dark, this is a dark set here, but you are not too much, too sensitive, too broken to heal, too old to dream, behind in life, too hard to love with the star and the hermit. Mm. And I know Leafs is not correct. <laughs> it has officially be, been changed in the artwork and in the guidebook. Just throwing that out there. Rest and reset mind, body, and spirit. The Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. Hmm. I love this Hierophant book. How beautiful is that? Okay, so that is our super colorful, but still holding some of that dark space in its artwork. That is our dream visions. I think it's another beautiful match. All right. So why don't we warm it up and pair it with the Little Sister Tarot? This brings a lot of this very like parchmenty color. Um, I think all the yeah all the borders have that like gradient parchment coloration. Um, but the backs are stunning. This was actually the very first project I ever backed on Kickstarter. I received it pretty recently. Give it a little shuffle. Alright. So let's see how something with a much warmer palette goes with this black and white. Alright. Oh, I love this. The water your garden first with the Empress and the Three of Cups. Mm, please don't believe everything you think with the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. So I actually haven't put these two together yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about this. It's actually not throwing me off. Hmm. Again, I think it's because the white in this deck has that warmer tone just slightly that I think it lends to pairing on this warmer side. Hmm. Okay, let's do one more. What is bubbling up and where do you feel it? Interesting. 
Okay, what do we think about this? This may be, hmm, I don't know for certain yet, but yeah, and y'all don't look at my nails. I'm sorry if they're dirty. I've been playing outside and digging and drawing in dirt with my son, so. Okay, hmm. That's more of an interesting pairing, I think, but I don't hate it. I just don't know for sure how I feel about it yet. Okay. Let's do Children of Letha. Another very colorful deck, but quite dark also. These are the back. Very pretty. Alrighty. This is a thick deck. I'm just gonna split like three quarters of it here. Okay. Oh my gosh, this deck is so beautiful. But you can see what I mean about like how dark. Let me zoom in just a tad. How dark the art can be. Like, all this kind of bordered area is all black. All right. Be human to the fullest. The Page of Pentacles and the Lovers. It's okay living a life that others don't get with strength and the hermit. that sign you've been at that you've asked for let's see that's the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups oh that's a good sign release your regrets fears guilt and shame with the empress and the four of swords And if it's out of your hands, don't keep it in your head. With the sun and the ace of pentacles. I think this works really well together also. And your sensuality is, sh is sacred, not shameful. With the knight of wands and the eight of wands. Interesting. Okay, we'll do one more. Where you plant your seeds is where you'll notice growth with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Fun, yeah, I like that one. I really like that one. I love this deck, I think it's stunning. I don't pull it as often as I'd like to or should because the cardstock, I mean, it's thick. And the cardstock is very rose petaled and I'm not gonna lie, I love rifle shuffling. It's like part of the experience for me. So I don't really pull it a whole lot, but oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's go. We've kind of touched all those dark spots. Let's pull the Star Secret Tarot. This is the pocket edition. Is that hollow gonna show up? Sorta. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is very pastel-y. A little bit more like celestial. Whereas my deck is black and white and very grounded. So let's see how these two play. I accept my blank a little more today. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Wind with the Knight of Swords and the Tower, which is randomly upside down. I feel like that trust really 
comes through. All right, quiet the mind and the soul will speak with the hierophant and the devil. Oof. That's a message. <laughs> Don't feel bad about failing with the two of wands and the seven of swords. I think they're looking really nice together. Because also with this deck, they kind of pull in like those deeper purples and blues. And then you have this like light border. You have enough because you are enough. With the Ace of Wands and Death. Fan your fire with the Queen of Wands and Two of Cups. Okay, let's do one more. We have Roots with the Hanged One and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, one more. <laughs> Acknowledge your fears. Oops. With the three of swords and the sun. Hmm. I like it. Y'all see what I mean about it looking great with like everything? Okay. Second to last, I'm gonna do for Huxa. This is an indie copy is why I am including it, but it is coming out mass market, which it's a gorgeous deck. But it also kind of brings in those warmer tones oftentimes. Okay. You are not responsible for their reactions, emotions, or behaviors with the Five of Fire and the Eight of Earth. Oh, they look good together. Hug yourself. You deserve tenderness with the Six of Fire and the Six of Water. Oh my god. I love that. I love the Six of Cups too. It's really so sweet. All right. Whose expectations are you judging yourself against? The page of Earth and the Knight of Earth. Mm. Okay, last one. Because this one's obvious that they go so well together. It's okay to feel correct or broken. That's where the water reaches the roots. The Elder of Water and the Seven of Air. We've got a kitty. Hey, Luna. Oh. Okay. For Hoxa, check. I really like that one, actually. I think that may be a favorite. All right. Last one. I received <laughs> Luna. <gasps> Keep it moving, girly. Thank you. Okay, this deck I received yesterday. It was a Kickstarter um, pledge, and that is the Lilifer. This is the gold edition. You can see that gold flailing. So beautiful. This has honestly become a really fast favorite. I am really enjoying it. it feels very intuitive. These are the gorgeous backs with that little bit of gold foiling on there. So pretty. But yeah, it just feels very intuitive and easy to read. I love the artwork. I am glad that she included, let's see if I can find a quick example. Probably won't, okay. I love that she included, I guess the first edition, so these are like um, Arabic numbers. And so this is a four, but it doesn't really look like a four without understanding those numbers. So the first edition only had those, and the five looks like a four. This doesn't look like a four, right? But in this edition, she did include, you can see in this little lower corner, the number four, so. Okay. Let's look at these together, because I feel like this will be a really nice pairing too. 
you have a lot of white space. Luna. Oh. Okay, you wanna sit in my lap? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> she is so needy right now. Right there is good. All right. Okay. Moving slow is still moving forward. With the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. When it feels safe, go deeper. With the Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. If it's heavy, put it down even if only for a bit. Oops. With the Hanged Man and the Knight of Wands. I like this together too, y'all. I'm telling you, I like it with like every single thing I've put next to it. You don't need to be stressed or busy to be valuable. With the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm. All right, let's see, last one. Your voice and your perspective are valuable with the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, for real last one. Practice trusting yourself daily with the Four of Cups and Lilith. So um, this is an extra card for this deck. There's a Lilith and a Lucifer, and that is how the name came to be. Lilifer. But I think that's beautiful. Trusting yourself with Lilith coming through. Yeah. Okay, y'all. What do we think? What was your favorite pairing? Um, are there any decks that come to mind that you think it would pair nicely with? Um, leave a comment down below and tell me what deck you would pair with this deck I'm interested because again like there are some where I'm like okay you know it doesn't look awful but then I think that there are some where I'm like okay this really goes well together so if there are any that like jump out to you um or a favorite pairing of what I have shown please leave a comment and also please check out my kickstarter again the name is from roots to blooms we are live and we are doing really well just inching along um again almost at 50 percent so yeah thanks again y'all hope you have a great rest of your friday and weekend Bye bye